getting out of here when we push it on top this song. Pop the clutch and let it go. Nobody gonna stop us. Nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know. I said, hey there, mister, won't you just uh, give another man a helping hand? We need a job. What's up, everybody? Out here in the GMC. Had a little problem last weekend when we went out. I uh, filled up our holding tank, which is right here. Our fresh water holding tank holds 40 gallons. <clears throat> and as soon as we got set up, I tried to charge the uh, toilet, which our toilet, you charge up three gallons of water and you use that for flushing. It wouldn't charge up so I came back here and the pump comes on and it just runs like a bat out of hell and never pressures up but I don't have any leaks none of the water's gone and so I think I either have a supply line issue or maybe a hole in the diaphragm inside the pump so it's 37 years old what I'm gonna do is pull that pump out put in a new pump and then if the new if I get it out and take it apart and it's just a simple diaphragm something little bitty I can fix I'll go ahead and order it put it back together and keep it on board as a spare so we'll see may not may just throw it away all together we shall find out I have a drain but I can't for the life of me figure out how to get the water to drain out of the tank. So my problem is I need to undo a hose and I got 40 gallons of water sitting behind it. Uh, so what I've done is I've gotten a pool hose run all the way out the door. And so I'm going to unhook that supply line hose and if water's running out, I'm going to shove it in that hose and let it go out the door. And then once that's done, then I'll disconnect everything and replace the pump. I went with a SureFlow. <clears throat> Internal bypass, low cycling, 55 PSI. It uh, This one's three gallons a minute, 12 volt. I went ahead and bought a uh, filter that goes in line before the... Uh, pump so this will go in between the freshwater tank and the pump catch any trash and debris from getting in the pump which this old one doesn't have and when I looked in the owner's manual it's supposed to have one but it's no longer there you can see some things have changed that's why I can't figure out how to dump the water but I uh, will get back with y'all we'll see how it goes all right later All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to take off the uh, supply line. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I'm not dealing with 40 gallons of water here all at once. All right, later.
Okay, got that hose going in there. Caught it in a little cake pan. <clears throat> Towel already under there. So, not too bad on the damage there. Okay, I don't know if you can see this line. I don't know if you can see the line of the tank right here. Okay. Go dump this pan and see how we're doing on the other end. Okay, I guess that means it was getting water. It had water in there. What I'll do later is hook up a hose to a bucket and then plug this into a battery and where I can watch it. And if it's uh, good to go, it might have been my supply line. It looked like it had water in it, but we'll see later on. Right now, I don't have a whole lot of time and I need the All right, guys. water pump working. Let's get on to the new one. I 
That looks a little different, huh? Filter. Let's go in here. Okay, let's get you all set up. Right here you can see it's got an arrow. So this is my end. It uh, says not to use Teflon tape. Hand tighten only, vacuum side only. Now, it's got a little tapered thing in there so it should only need to be, no Teflon I mean. Scary. Hmm. Okay. I gotta watch myself sometimes. I'll know my own strengths. Yeah, I just don't know about all that. Just hand tighten only. better. And this one's gonna go here. And I have an extra. That was gonna go here, but I put a filter on instead. Alright, what I've done is taken the base down the road. off of the water pump. That way I can use it mark and drill my holes get them all ready and then i'll reattach it to the pump What I'm doing is making threads right now. It's kind of like tapping it.
Okay, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but the water line is down here now. So what I'm going to do is try to get this hose at a lower level. See how low it is down there? And then it runs uphill. So I'm going to try to feed it back down through. And because uh, I need to take off that see if fitting. we can get a better angle on it without dumping too much water everywhere. Let's see. Glad I'm replacing it. Look at that. I bet you that was my problem right there. I didn't even see that. No way. Yeah, I did. You know what? Hmm. I might just try to replace the hose right there. Back here, all looks good. What's up guys? I'm having a problem. The pump's not shutting off and so I went online and it's got a pressure to bypass adjustment. <clears throat> so I printed the instructions out. I'm going to back those screws out and see if uh, that'll help me out. What's up guys? I'm back at it. And we're all wrapped up here. Uh, I, come, I tested the old pump and it's pumping. This one was doing the same thing, staying on. So I couldn't get any uh, water out of the faucets and stuff. So I undid this hose and I stuck it in the pool hose and turned the pump on and I was getting water to here. And so I undid this one and there was like a check valve in here that had shot out and got stuck in this fitting. And so when I pulled that out, then water just started pouring out of here. <clears throat> I was so all in the way at it, it couldn't really record it, but all, water started pouring out of here. That's why I got the carpet all back. Dry it up. Um, but yeah, I got that valve out of there, or that little piece that was stuck, put it all back together, turned it on, it worked fine. So what I'm going to do is I'll save that old pump, and uh, in case something happens on the road and this one goes out, I'll have the old one to throw in here for an emergency. Alright guys, that's it. You know, other than that little piece being stuck in there is a pretty simple job. I mean, unplug the old one, plug in the new one. I wish I would have known about that little check valve in there because I probably didn't have to do all that. But alright, now we got a brand new pump that I know is good to go for a while. Catch y'all later guys.